Well, I guess it's about time to get rid of this old list from last year for the Colt and the Galant and uh, start a new task list. And just like 2020 and Corona, let's just go ahead and wipe the slate clean, start new. It's like we started this year, you know, just get rid of everything, wipe it away real easy. Wipe it away real easy. Shit, got the engine in. Didn't end up using the hoist. These, uh, actually just use these straps. Bought a, uh, this engine bar and, uh, came with those straps. Try to get in there. It didn't actually work the way I wanted to. It just couldn't get a, uh, a lot of, it gave too much angle and couldn't get it to work. So put those straps on this leveler. So it kind of saved everything from getting scratched up and messed up while putting it in. So I do have the motorcycle lift here and it is a bit off. You can see the back is completely level. This one's up just a hair. So I might put a spacer in here on the front, try to get that tilt, tilt up the way my engine sits here to the magnum so we'll try that again and then I also need to go over here and cut out cut out a few spots so so the engine can actually come straight up and not have to fandangle it around to get it in there so we also got uh, more sensors mounted which I did off camera and uh, check those out real quick so this is the oil pressure, oil temp. Went over here just to keep everything out of the way. You can see this line running out of the way. So away from the belts, away from the exhaust, everything. I wish it was a little bit cleaner spot, but that's kind of best spot I could do to keep the wiring and not have to run lines underneath the engine and getting in the way. So. Oh, piss. How did that get out? All right, so the battery died uh, while I was talking. That's pretty tight. And I didn't have a cord or another battery with me because I forgot them uh, that day. So got shit done anyway. So I guess we'll go right where I was at. So engine's back out. Had to put in uh, the brake sensor anyways and test. Basically the engine went in just so I could just test fit stuff and had to bring it back out to uh, get the brake line done and a bunch of other stuff. So, okay, so been over the oil pressure sensor that I hate where it's at, but we're gonna deal with it. Um, map sensor is mounted on a sensor block. I got a spare one because I thought the oil pressure was gonna go here, but not gonna do that anymore. So, Rolling on to uh, brake pressure. Just had to cut and reflare this line to this T. So that's mounted. That's done. Ready to go. Got this part of this subframe uh, trimmed out. You can see compared to that side. So hopefully we'll have more room for the transmission there. And then last thing. This has been in for a little while. But this is a cable throttle going to a uh, actuator inside. That's actually a Mighty Max cable throttle that my buddy Matt suggested to use on his. It fit pretty good. And so we got cable throttle going to this actuator that'll be uh, obviously wired to the MoTeC. So instead of using a regular drive-by-wire pedal, you can actually just use the actuator, use your factory pedal. So, 
kind of like that setup a little bit easier than trying to fit a big bulky pedal in there. And actually one last thing. That stimmy hit. Just joking, I still don't got mine. But I did. I know I said I wasn't going to put in IGM one as but uh, wiring-wise, it's going to be a lot easier to just go ahead and throw these in the car and not have to deal with a bunch of extra wiring and dicking with that. So these are going to go in here somewhere, kind of tucked away because space is so limited in this stupid car. So I believe that's all of our sensors are mounted. So we've got to move on to mounting the... Uh, the ECU, our MoTeC, the, um, I don't know where the screen's going and the push button, so I don't think those are necessarily need to be mounted, but maybe we'll do that anyways. So I got started on it. This is what I got so far. Just a CAD, CAD piece going in here. I can get it to sit right here. That's going to kind of just hang right there. It's going to have a full dash and then kind of just sit on this plate. So, this will cut out some aluminum and uh, see if I can make that work. All right, we've got our CAD here and I already marked up this piece a little bit to uh, make our cuts and our holes. And I got the bends marked. Hopefully. It's good enough to uh, line up right, we'll see. So, yep, let's get to work. Got it bent up, forgot to hit the record button. So let's go see if it fits. 
see how bad she fits. it in. Definitely got some cleanup work to do, but I wanted to test fit it. Because usually it doesn't go that well with me and fab work. I usually just mess it up and then have to do a bunch of tweaks, but this is gonna fit. It's exactly how I wanted it. So, basically an old Motec. I'm gonna go about there. And since I only have one hand, PDM right next to it there somewhere. So I'm going to get it worked out exactly where I want it. And then uh, drill some holes, bolt it up, get it, uh, get it all cleaned up. We'll be back. All right, there's our finished piece. Got a bracket on here on this side. Just rivet it on. I don't weld. So, quickest way for me to get it done is just rivet it on. It'd be fine instead of welding. This piece is bolted because it's going to be bolted up to, up to there. And that bar is going to come out eventually once I get another cage. So, but we'll go ahead and uh, get this, uh, these Motex on here and get this thing bolted up. and tucked away so I think I mean I'm gonna run a full dash full factory dash I don't know if I'm gonna run this piece all the time I know I won't for the dyno and stuff like that but and as you can see it goes in by itself so I can either pull that or not pull it depending on what I'm doing so all right on to the next thing might have been less hassle than using the damn engine hoist. I think so. I think it was. Because that thing was swinging around on that bullshit. 
<laughs> Swinging around and shit. Dude, I got so much space over here now, too. Fuck yeah. God <clears throat> dang. Look at all that room. Room for all sorts of activities. Fuck yeah. All right, once again, she is back in using the uh, motorcycle lift. Basically, the only thing we had to modify was uh, put some washers at the bottom to get that angle we needed. So, looks like this thing will work for, this is, mine's a six bolt, Magnum has a seven bolt, so it should work for both cars. And then, of course, I had to open this up a little bit and so you can see a little bit of how tight it is in there. Well, not anymore, but how tight it was in there. So yeah, so that's gonna work out pretty good. It actually went in really well, so pretty excited for that. So I don't have to use a hoist anymore. I've also got a small list of things to do over here. So Glant's not that big a deal. So there'll be a video on this at some point. DSM link, SD, maybe put a fuel pressure sensor in it. Need to change the oil, and I can start driving it, actually. So once the Colt's done, we'll get started on the Galan at some point. We'll see. And just a small list of the Colt, I'm sure I'll add to it. So yeah, that should uh, do it for this video. Got one coming pretty soon, because I had to split it up, so this one started to get a little long. So hopefully I have one in the next couple weeks.